Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. Welcome to another SolidWorks screencast. Today we would like to talk about exploded view and motion study. Uh, we have built this assembly uh, and I show you how to do it on my previous uh, screencast. Now, today we would like to show how we can present that to an outside viewer that he or she doesn't know how this has been together assembled together. That would be very handy if you want to make an interactive uh, user manual or assembly manual. Uh, there are two ways of doing it. One is a very easy basic method and the second one is a more uh, comprehensive and uh, with extra features that you have to create a more eye-catching actually uh, videos out of your assembly. Uh, the first one is called exploded view and what you need to do is uh, you go to this icon here exploded view and I'm in assembly icon in my uh, task manager so uh, as soon as you press that uh, this menu comes up and then of course uh, you will get these three axes that you can uh, create your uh, exploded view. So you select a part, if I select this knob here, right away this knob, the color changes to blue and then I can move this knob in three directions X, Y, Z. So assuming that I want to move it up, I can simply go up there and the next thing here, so I can move it the same way, move this one up to and then you can see that on the right side there is actually uh, a ruler showing you how far you want to go and then you move the next one here now if you want to move the rest of them so you can also simply you drag the entire things and then you move it this way and what it does it breaks it down one by one and you can see that now all the parts are uh, broken so this is done so this is my uh, assembly and uh, I go and rebuild here to remove this uh, kind of uh, graphic error. Uh, let's go back here again to configuration manager and you have here uh, the default assembly. So right click on the exploded view and then you have a few options here. You can edit that obviously, you can delete it if this is what you need, and uh, you can collapse it, comes back to the same, but want to bring it back again here, explode, and then you have a feature here is called the animated uh, collapse. So you press that, uh, a bar comes here, and as you can see that, somehow it just brings everything back with the same order I disassemble, and it goes back and forth. So if I want to start from here, so let me just, uh, here, I stop here, and then I go to save, save animation. Bear in mind also that uh, you can go back and forth, you can go one direction only, explode or only uh, collapse, and then you can do it faster or slower here. So if I go here, it's going to be faster. See, it's going to be everything much faster. Uh, you can control much here, so it goes either four seconds or eight seconds. So this is the eight seconds and then go back here. So let me just stop it uh, at the very end when the assembly is finished. Get here. And then I do a save. Uh, as soon as you press the save, uh, it asks you uh, something about where you want to save it. Uh, the location. Let's just go here to our desktop. Um, Yeah, I go to desktop here and uh, I call it assembly one. These are the size and the ratio of uh, the image. This is frame per second. You can make it more, you can make it perhaps 12 here. So the real move is 24 uh, frame per second. And then save. Uh, the quality also defined here. 
and you see it, it, it does the job here so you see you get frame by frame it takes a little uh, longer for this to be completed here and it's almost rendering it so now I yeah, are in three seconds here four seconds and then move on And then I can stop it here. And if I go to my animation one, which I just created here, this is how it looks like. So obviously it's much more uh, coherent. So this is one way of doing it, but it's not very convenient, and you don't have much uh, features here. That's why I strongly suggest to use uh, something more advanced, which is called uh, motion stuff. Uh, for the sake of that, I go and actually I delete my exploded view here because I want to make another one, so it's not exploded view. I click motion study, and here this bars open. Uh, those who are you know use animators or movie making software, they should be familiar with this kind of streamline and the time frame. That would be an easy uh, menu for them. So. Let's see for the four, first four seconds, I move this one from here to four seconds. And I want to go from current uh, position. Let's go right here. From current position, which is like this, I want to go to um, front view. Oh, I forgot to do something actually, sorry. Uh, I put it in four seconds here, and then I go and I have to actually go right click on here, and then this is disable, so I remove the disable. Uh, now I'm in the position here. So you see, I made a change here, it's already registered that change. So if I don't want that, I just go and delete them here. So bring it back here. I put it in whatever position I want, like maybe in this position, and then I go four seconds here. And from this current position, it takes four seconds to go to front view. And then I go another four seconds. And from front view, I want to go to uh, right view. And then I go another four seconds. I go to top view. And then another four seconds. I go to isometric view. Which is here. Let's see what I've done. So let's start from the beginning. And here, let's close this one here. This is exactly what I did. So it goes to the front and the right and then top view. And then <coughs> uh, it will go to the isometric view. Okay, so let me bring it back here. Uh, maybe I'll go a little further here. And now what I do, I go and uh, I use the option of exploded view with the same concept. So let me go to exploded view as we did before. Exploded view and then I select these items here. I move them one by one. Uh, maybe I do it this way here. Um, and Pins out. And here is my exploded view. I'm done with this. Then bring it back here. And then I go to option here is called animation wizard click on that and then you have three options you have rotating model and you go to exploded view next uh, depends on how long you want maybe nine seconds is sufficient here uh, usually it has itself the action that you do if you do nine action if you do nine second one per action you can change that later on anyway but that should be sufficient you can make it less or more and I do okay and let's see what's going to happen here. Let me just go back here. 
and I'm right here. I start, and here is the animation that I did. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, if I want to bring it to the collapse position, I can simply do that as well. Uh, bring it a little further here. Uh, and then you go to the again to animation wizard and then you have a collapse option very much the same thing and then you finish it here and now here you will do a collapse all done automatically by uh, for solid work this go goes exactly the opposite scenario there are more features here uh, for example you can hide or we can show uh, items like for example if I don't want to show for example these knobs here so let's see here um, let's see I don't want to show the bracket for example I go here right click on the bracket hide the bracket so the bracket is hidden and from now on whatever I do I do it without the bracket so if I want to go for example for four seconds or less than that for uh, three seconds from this position to this position so it does it without the bracket so here we have the bracket and then you can simply see that the bracket is missing so if you want to bring up the bracket here you go here right click and show uh, there are other features here too like for example you can install a motor because this particular one you can see that it rotates so how do you show this rotation is interesting uh, there's an option it's called motor here let me just go here uh, the motor you select the motor and then define uh, a motor is an action so if, for example you have something that rotates that as I have here uh, use the rotary motor but sometimes uh, there is like let's say a drawer you want to open and close so it's a linear motion is an actuator so in this case I use the motor so what part or what section is going to move this is the part you can use any of them because they're all connected and the respect to where in respect to uh, the bracket itself and it asks you what is the RPM of that let's make it 61 revolution per minute and that's done so the motor is activated here and you can see the motor comes here uh, let me show you what it happens now let me bring it back here and if I press here you can see it rotates and then this rotate include whatever I do like if I want to do another exploded view kind of interesting and uh, I go again here to wizard and I do exploded view next done and now my exploded view is combined with the rotation and I know that tell you what exactly it does you see that although it's a little bit of difficult but it rotates as well as moving and for some geometry maybe that is exactly what you want to do for some parts there are other options here too you have to explore yourself you can have a spring you can have a gravity you can have uh, the contact and so on but this should be sufficient and then from here if you want to save it so obviously you go here to save and the same thing, so I replaced it with what I already had that. So I go here to uh, desktop and I save that. So maybe make it about 24 frames per second. That would be a little too long, but let's see what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be, it takes a while to do it, but anyway, let's say OK and replace that here. So the quality is going to be even higher quality, you can decide what kind of uh, output you want to have that this is enough uh, and say OK and you can see it's doing it now frame by frame uh, again the way we did it, it took a while uh, it's, it's going to consume lots of the CPU's uh, power you also could have gone here and you make it twice as fast or actually has more options uh, previously had only two options 
either you go twice as fast or you go half so either it's two seconds or eight seconds but in this one here you can have any kind of uh, uh, ratio you have five times ten times and you can make it very very uh, slow so we wait a few seconds until this is done and uh, we have a look at the result uh, what it looks like here uh, this is very very important if you again make a geometry which is, has lots of details and the details are not clear so the best way to make these details clear is using uh, the motion study uh, everything comes live when you use the motion study and simply uh, make uh, the assembly much easier and much more comprehensive. Uh, let me just wait for a few more minutes and just want to show you here. This is the highest quality possible you can get. Uh, and just about to be done. Oh, actually, you're going to go one more time here to do it here. I don't think it's already saved it here. It is already working on it. Uh, how is that? We'll see. So I actually don't use that highest. Uh, yeah. So because it's already is is already doing the first time was rendering it and now the second time it's gonna take actually uh, a while for this to be done. Uh, maybe while I'm waiting here, I give you a couple of other hints about uh, using uh, the graphics so if uh, you go to SolidWorks uh, you have also e-drawing and e-drawing is where uh, let me go here uh, maybe actually five times faster and much faster now uh, the e drawing is good when you want to have one crisp picture of whatever drawing you have. So that's the best way uh, use the e drawing. Uh, you can add shade, it render it completely, make it very realistic and live. Uh, it would be better than getting a snapshot. Uh, in SolidWorks, there are three ways of doing it: one is e drawing, one is a snapshot, and one you can save it as a JPEG. You can even save it as a, a video on solid work, but uh, the most recommended and desirable way of doing it is using the motion study. Um, this is almost about to be done, and I just want to show you the highest quality, the 24 uh, frame per second, which is uh, the realistic when you use the movie, uh, and the highest quality, which is uh, Hundred uh, percent, and then I want to also show you what is the size of the file. So this is done, and here is my video. If I go to property here, it's going to be a rather uh, large size. So let's see here the property, and you can see it's about nine gigabyte uh, megabyte. Sorry, it's actually not that bad either. So I, I thought it's going to be a little higher than that. So so it's because I did it so fast, five times the speed, so it's going to be like this. But the quality is very, very good. You can see that here. This was the beginning. It's a very coherent. Well, I guess this. Uh, Conclude our this screencast for exploded view and motion study. Thank you very much.